Like I know my butt is big, but it's not that big, okay? <laughs> toy. It was toy toy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Haywon and I do fashion and lifestyle videos here and sometimes I like to combine the two. Today's video is a Boohoo haul, obviously, like you see by the title. Um, and I didn't get too much stuff today, but I did want to focus more on how I styled the items that I did get. Because not always is it more is more. And you just need to know how to style the items that you did get in multiple ways. So what I'm planning on doing in today's video is basically showing you guys the items that I got and how I would style them for nighttime and for daytime. Um, so like more of a casual outfit and less of a casual outfit. Do you get what I mean? So yeah, so let's just get straight into it. I'm going to start out with one of my favorite things that I got and I am so happy with it. That is this purple blazer and it is amazing, especially for the price. Honestly, just to start off, I'm gonna put the price up here for you guys. It is so flippin' affordable. Blazers are such a fun way to style something a little bit more formally or just to have a little bit more structure in your outfit. And the thing I love most about this one is that it actually has shoulder pads, but the actual cloth of it is very like, lightweight so for the summertime and the springtime when it's a little bit warmer this is amazing amazing because it's super lightweight so i think this is definitely like a summer blazer and i love this deep purple color it's so beautiful you guys know everywhere every store every everything is all about like deep rich colors and that inspiration comes actually from the runway shows i got this in a size us6 and it's meant to fit a little bit oversized which i love so i'm going to show you guys really quickly how i styled it up so i love the way this looks because the purple is really loud i want to mute it a little by having white which is my favorite neutral color for the spring summer i just feel like black is that staple color for the winter but once you come into spring and summer white is literally the most perfect neutral color for warmer weather so i'm wearing my plt bandeau along with my favorite pair of cream white boots from princess polly yeah i got it from princess polly they're so so cute they're a little bit high but so stinking cute i've spoken about these heels in so many videos <laughs> So this is how I would style it a little bit more dressed up. Now to make this a little bit more casual, again, I paired it with a bralette because bralettes are all the rage once the weather comes around. And honestly, once it's nice and warm, instead of wearing a bralette, I would definitely wear like a bikini top just because for me, I live close to the water, I live close to the beach, so you gotta have bikinis on deck. You gotta have it in your car, you gotta have it on you, you gotta, you just, you know, and if you have a beautiful bright color underneath, like a bright orange or a red even, I think it would look really nice with this outfit. So for today, I just decided to wear it with my regular Skims bralette. And those jeans are from White Fox. They're my favorite jeans from White Fox. They're the, just, they have a little bit of distressing, but they're still pretty nice and structured. Along with my Air Force Ones, which are again, one of my favorite shoes to wear for spring. And I featured them in my spring shoe favorites. If you haven't watched that video, I definitely highly suggest, definitely highly, that's redundant. I highly suggest you check out my spring shoe favorites because most of the shoes I'm showing today are all linked in that video. So the next item that I want to show you guys that I got from Boohoo um, is actually these jeans. They are the baggy jeans from Boohoo. They actually got them from the tall section. If you guys don't know, I am 5'7". And sometimes I feel like jeans fit a little too spot on or sometimes even a little bit shorter. And with baggy jeans, you kind of want them to be a little bit bigger. You want it to pool a little bit on your um, on your sneakers. So I decided to try out the Boohoo's tall section. And I know Boohoo's tall section is nice. Like they have some prime, prime things. So if you're over 5'7", definitely check out their tall jeans, tall leggings. They have so many options. Um, and these jeans are such a winner for me like I love them so much um, the only thing I wish about these jeans is I wish the waist was a little bit tighter high, they're not high right they're high waisted uh, distressed baggy jeans and and they have a little bit of fraying at the bottom which is perfect especially because it for me it fits a little bit bigger and it does pull at the bottom and chances are it's gonna fray regardless so <laughs> this is pretty cool i think it looks really nice definitely has that perfect 90s vibe it's not bell bottom it's just nice and baggy but it's fitted in the butt and thigh area i just wish it was a little bit fitted in the waist area but in one of my next vlogs i'm definitely going to show you guys how i actually fix 
that waist issue because I have a, that issue with a lot of my jeans and I have like a quick fix for that um, if you're not trying to take it to the tailor. So for a more casual way of dressing, again, I have my Skims bralette. This one is one of my favorite bralettes. It's the um, in that bone color and I feel like this one is a very thick bralette. It has the perfect band in the in the little under boob part so it's actually super supportive and i think it's also like it's ribbed and it almost feels like it's like a crop top to be honest it doesn't even feel like a bralette to me and again with my white air force ones and my white purse i feel like this is a very simple and classic way of wearing baggy jeans i think it looks really really cool if you have some really funky shoes as well i think this is a great time to kind of whip them out and wear them with your baggy jeans make it super street style depends on how like street style you're trying to go but it's super simple you can also throw on a blazer on top of this just like I did with the other outfit but this in itself I think looks really really good and I really feel like this might be my favorite pair of summer and spring jeans I might even I mean I feel like they're perfect for winter as well but they're just mm, chef's kiss so so good and obviously for a nighttime outfit one thing i've been loving with baggy jeans is wearing them with pointed moles like more like more um what's the word more formal type of shoes i love this this is actually my work shoes that i wore all the time when i used to go into the office so i just decided to wear my black leather pumps um and wear my corset top from princess polly it's such a romantic beautiful top it's one of my favorite tops from princess polly and just paired it with a black purse i think this outfit is a super cute way to go out for dinner get drinks go dress up and look cute somewhere i don't know <laughs> okay so the next item that i got which is so cute it's actually a play on the crochet trend that has been super popping off i've seen it oh my god so many places so i got this crochet uh skirt and I think this looks so cute as a bikini cover-up it is a bikini cover-up but honestly how adorable it's definitely more of like a see-through crochet which is why I'm wearing it as a co bikini cover-up but it looks so good and not to mention one thing I love the most about it is that it actually has a waist uh, cinching detail <laughs> so it has like this string that you can make the waist really tight so I just think this looks so so good obviously you can't there's only one way to wear a bikini cover up and that's with a bikini I did get this in a size small and honestly I if you're in between a size small and medium go with a small it's stretchy it's very loose fitting so a small is perfect if you're in between sizes I'm usually a size medium in my bottoms and the small fit me perfectly so don't feel the need to oversize you know all right the next outfit is one that I thought would be my favorite. And unfortunately, it was good and bad, okay? It was good and bad. So I got this top, which if you guys saw my last Shein haul, I got something similar in this material. Um, but basically, it's the kind of, I don't know, it's in this beautiful ribbed texture in a very bright red, which bright red, I mean, especially with a bold red lip, doesn't it look so good? I feel like there's something so luxurious about a bright red, whether it's like a red dress or red shoe, something about red is just so regal to me. Um, so I got this two piece set and they were sold separately. I, yeah, I think, yeah, they were sold separately. Um, and I got this one as a size US 6. This is the top and the bottoms I got uh, What size did I get the bottoms? I got them in a size 6 as well So here's where my tip kind of comes in. Okay, if you're gonna wear the bottoms I would size up maybe even two sizes because I kind of wanted this to fit like a little bit more loosely give it like more of like um, you're on vacation and everything is flowing and you're very comfortable however I got this in a size 6 which is my normal size and it was toy it was toy toy it was very tight okay um, to the point where I bent over and literally the seams were busting and I'm like huh, huh. like I know my butt is big but it's not that big okay <laughs> I wish it was that big. I think it's just the material and the stitching was done a little bit cheaply, which is kind of sad. And to the point where you'll see it in my try-on portion when I show you guys how I dress this outfit up, 
Um, and I'll show it to you right now. This is how I dress the outfit up. I wore it in a two-piece set with some uh, white flip-flop heels and a white tank top. Was it a tank top? It's like a corset, not a corset, what is it called? The underwire tops. Um, and I got this one from Princess Polly. They're my favorite place to get those kinds of tops because they do it so, so perfectly. You'll see that even in the thigh area, it's so tight that it won't even, like you can't even see the ribbing detail. The way that the material is created is made to fit to size. It's affordable for a reason is what I'm gonna say about this one, which is kind of disappointing for the pants. But the top, perfect, I loved it. I mean, it's made of the same material, but it does what it was meant to do. It fits loosely, it's very like, you know, very comfortable, very breathable. And I feel like this is exactly how I would style it if I'm just going down on the boardwalk or if I'm just planning on getting drinks by the water. I feel like this is really cute, very simple, um, easy way of dressing. Um, and making it look really casual but look very fashion forward. I love this outfit. I kept the same underwire uh, top and just threw on these jeans that I got from Boohoo. Um, those are the same jeans that I showed you guys, the baggy jeans, and just some slides and called it a day. I feel like this is something I honestly have worn and probably will wear in the near future <laughs> just to go to the boardwalk. So if you're on vacation and you're doing like a tourist day where you're wearing comfy shoes, then this is a really cute outfit, you know? All right, guys, that's all the items that I have to show you guys. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked all the different options of how to dress your items up and how to dress it more casually. Obviously, go and follow my Instagram because I am an outfit repeater and I will probably wear all of these again. I'm actually shopping for an upcoming trip anyway, so I plan on wearing all of this and posting it on my Instagram in the near future. So yeah, make sure to follow me on there. I link more of my day-to-day -day outfits on there anyway. So if you're looking for like daily fashion content, then my Instagram stories is the perfect place to find that. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.